What's up guys, this is Nick here from US Series Filters, and uh, i got another view for you here today, and it's going to be of the Leapers 4x32 scope. Uh, I picked this thing up for our, at shortyusa.com for about $35. Um, people have told me that they found it elsewhere for cheaper, well, good for you. Um, I bought this a year ago, so who knows, maybe the um, cost for it's gone down <clears throat> over the months. So, here's the box. Everybody looks to see the box, but I don't care about the box. Um, you get a manual, um, two foot lens covers, here's one, the other one's somewhere out in my garage, you get a polishing cloth, um, a couple island wrenches for it, for the uh, rings, it includes rings, comes with a two inch sunshade, so, yeah. And a, uh, range estimation card, which shows you how you can, uh, use the mill dot on it. So, here it is, Leapers 4x32 scope, the sunshade on it, it just screws on and off, it has this little ring on it here, but I've painted it uh, a few times, so the paint's kind of got it on there, so here it is without it, but I think it looks cooler with it on there, in my opinion, oops, so, Alright, so this is a four power scope, so it's giving you about, in my opinion, about uh, 10 yards worth of magnification in a four power. So, yeah. Uh, the um, effective range for this, like the range, the distance away you're going to be from a target, um, that would be best for this is probably around 100 feet. So, I don't know, because I mean, 50 feet's kind of close up for it, but, um, so, alright, I'd say about 75 feet plus is about where the scope's going to come in handy, um, especially if you're a DMR or a, sn a scout sniper or something like that on your team. Me, on my team, I'm a DMR or a scout, as some would call it, so, yeah. Um, back here, this thing, it, um... This moves. I don't. I really don't know what it does. Um, when I look through it, it makes the reticle look blurry. Um, I think it has something to do with the uh, yard yard magnification here. But honestly, I have no freaking clue what that does. So please comment and tell me what it is, because I really have no idea. Here, like I said, you have yard magnification. It's not really magnification, but yard. Um, um, what the it called? Um, I would say, um, gosh, I'm lost in words here, um, um, yard clarity, because it's seven, you, you have setting for 7.5 yards, 10 yards, 20 yards, 50 yards, so if it's a 7.5 yards, um, stuff up to 23 feet is clear, and stuff farther than that isn't clear, so, but I would keep it probably around 50. It's got uh, 7.5, 10, 20, 50, 100, and infinity, if I'm correct, because I have painted over it. But it's right here. So just turn that. So, yeah. Uh, your adjustments. Top one's up and down. Uh, the left one is left and right. Um, the scope is full metal. There's no plastic on this thing. It is full metal. There you go. You do not need any type of screwdriver for this. Uh, you don't need an Allen wrench. You don't need a Phillips head. You don't need a flathead, which is good because you don't feel like carrying that around on the field. So, in my opinion, I wouldn't want really to carry it around. Some screwdrivers on the field. I mean, I would probably carry around. I mean, I carry around my Allen wrench and my star head if I have to do any maintenance out there. But other than that, I'd say no. Hold on one second.
comes with rings, but these are not the ones it comes with. These are AccuShot Low Profile. The ones it comes with are medium. These are about a fourth, uh, a fourth inch high. The other ones are about a third inch high. So yeah, because um, in my opinion, the low rings look cooler. In my opinion, and uh, for all you Call of Duty fanboys out there, all you snipers, you want to put variable zoom on. You got your standard scope. Put this on. There you go. There's variable zoom for you. Go around to a little quick scoping, you know. Just kidding, just kidding. So, it's not a whole lot to go over about this thing. So, let's see if I covered anything on this. I think I have. I believe I have, so I think let's we'll take it outside and I'll show you the red. I'm going to attempt this. I don't know what that was. So there you go. There we go. So there you have it. There's a nice view of it there. Uh, how about right over here? Let's see back there. Oh, of course. Okay. Alright. No. Water nuggets. Okay. So. There we go. Right there. There you have it. Just get a last shot. I exit this video. Uh, the next review will be the NC Star scope. Um, so yeah, but the next video will be a Black Ops commentary. Then I'll have a zombies video, and then I'll have the next review, and the two, and then I'll have the uh, Kalashnikov AK-47 real wood gas blowback Sima, and the KSP-90 red dot. So stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe.